Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm going to apologize right away for the jump in quality. I don't know if this is better or worse. Uh, I'm using my, my phone because the camera lens actually got all fogged up. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to use this for this video as it should be a short video. Welcome back. I know last video we talked about taking apart that bad boy, but that hasn't happened because parts haven't come in yet and then I just thought I'd get a jump start on the wiring. And what a ham shamble it has been. Not really, actually, it's been pretty good. So, <clears throat> first of all, I'm pretty sure somebody tried to jump this with a 12 volt jumper or like a charger or something like that because a lot of the bulbs are blowing. <laughs> So this is the brake assembly. Now I have the lens. I have a lot of the lenses off. You can see I've got like my cluster apart and stuff like that because it's just easier to see and deal with. This is a 12 volt bulb that I had laying around for a spare for my trailer. So it's not very bright because it's this is a 6 volt system. So some of the lights aren't going to be as bright as they should. The battery is also pretty tired considering I don't have a 6 volt charger. And... I've been testing for a couple days, so it's getting pretty tired. Let's go ahead and get started. I took that out of the parts box. We already had uh, this running to the back fender, but not plugged in. So I plugged that in. Um, actually, before I get too far ahead of myself, for anybody who is here with a 74 huh, Yamaha DT175, I'll post a link to the wiring diagram uh, in the description just so that it's easier to find than uh, what I had to do. Anyways, took that out of the parts bin, plugged it in, of course the bulb was blowing, so I'll plug that in. Uh, I've just taken the cable out from the back fender, it actually just slips in this hole here. I found these guys uh, in the parts bin. Now, these actually used to be red, and I've switched them out for yellow ones because I, I really like the yellow better. But um, they need to be grounded, which is why they're sitting here. But when I took them out, you can see there's a green and a brown kind of sleeve. And these brown and green wires were just chilling with female plugs, and these guys have male. So plugged them in, uh, plugged all the tail light in, which has your ground, your running, and your brake. I put a fuse in. And I put a battery in, because those were missing. Now, as far as I understand, you don't need a battery. You can run it just off the magneto and, and whatnot, and it'll work. Uh, but I figure, whatever, I'll just put a battery in. It was like 25 bucks, 30 bucks. so. Uh, the brake light switch I, uh, I plugged in as well. That was not plugged in. And I attached that to the brake pedal. Uh, it looks like this uh, light brown is kind of like your your red. Uh, it runs throughout the bike um, and is used for switches uh, such as, you know, your brake light. And uh, actually, I think that's kind of it. <laughs> oh, and, and I mean, technically it's used for running lights and stuff, but I'll get to that in a sec. So kind of fixed all that up. Moving forward, we have the coil, which was disconnected, um, and a custom wire job was done. I reconnected that. I'm not sure if it works. That will be, we'll have to wait until the engine is back in. The blinker module I've plugged back in. It is defective. Uh, it does not blink. It just stays on, which is fine for testing, but I will have to replace it. Uh, moving forward, that was fine. That was already plugged in. We get to this ham shamble here. So I started it off right away, and to my surprise, the horn. Once I hooked everything up that I could find, because there was a lot of, a lot of disconnected wires in here, and I connected them up as much as I could, color coded wise, using the wiring diagram. You can still see there is this light brown wire that you saw uh, that I just talked about. And there's actually a green and yellow female plug right here. That is because I'm missing the brake switch for my front brake. This was switched out. Or no, that's original. But I'm, miss I'm missing that switch. So the switch actually goes in between 
those two wires uh, and acts the same as the back uh, the back brake so you can see and keep in mind this is a 12 volt ball but if I put my foot there it works so that's cool so I'm missing that but I got everything else connected and things like the horn which needs to be repaired or replaced I don't know if you can hear that. I'm sure you can. It tries. So, I mean, it's at least it's getting power. So, I know that works. Um, the signal lights, again, they don't flash. But they do work. And um, now, there are plugs. Because, obviously, I don't have signal lights up here yet. There are plugs in here for the signal lights. I have them. I don't know if the bulbs are broken. I'll have to check those. But I'm missing the clamp. And I'm also missing the plugs. Um, that's not going to focus. So that's fine. Anyways. So. Um, I'll have to test those. I've got both of those. I just have to, like I said, get the clamp to put them on the handlebars. So that's cool. But then the nightmare of running lights and high beam um and testing the neutral switch so i took off the clusters as you see and the neat thing is um, and i thought these clusters were getting power but they're not you've got the three lights which are literally just light bulbs with a passage through and same with the backlit it's just a light bulb with kind of this reflector which then spreads the light to the back of the cluster so that has your high beam, your neutral, and your blinker, and this one, and, and your backlit, and this one just has your backlit, and your tack, and your speedometer. So that's kind of cool, I didn't know that. So anyways, take those out to find five, well I guess, one blow, four blown bulbs, one good one. So I've been using the good one to test. <laughs> Uh, it's this guy currently in the high beam slot, um, and I've got a couple blown ones in the daytime running lights. <clears throat> so, immediately I noticed that sky blue wire matched up with one on the harness, so when I ground that out, the light turns on, so I know that at least the neutral switch works now. Um, whether it actually works or not, one, again, once the engine's connected, I'll have to test, um... But for now, I'm just going to, at least I know the wiring up to that point works, so that's cool. So yeah, the uh, the, the running lights and, and all that. Um, first of all, that brown wire that I talked about, this guy here. Uh, I trace that up, which is always hot, right? Which is always getting power to the switch, but nothing coming back down. Regardless, other than the signals and the horn. So nothing changed when I messed with any of these. So took it apart, cleaned it up, and you can see I still haven't put this knob back on. Um, but it seems to work now. So initially I was like, okay, I'm kind of confused because there's three sets of contacts. And... The one set that has this brown only wire goes to almost like a purple wire. So when I click that up, which is on the on position, it goes into, it, it matches the brown wire with that purple wire. Well, the purple wire goes into here, okay, and ends up controlling this. So, I mean, again, as you can see... There's my light, and if I step on the brake, it struggles, but then they both turn on. It's it's pretty sad. Okay. So, I was like, okay, well, that's a start. So, I started getting running lights at the back. Well, after some research, apparently, and again, I don't know if this is 100% correct, because this is just kind of what I've read, kind of what I've pieced together from goofing around with this and looking at the wiring diagram the headlight in this in this year 1974 the headlight runs off the magneto it doesn't run off the battery apparently again i could be wrong but 
with the existing wiring, that is how it's working. So, the headlight works, the high beam works, only when the motor is running. Everything else will work otherwise, but the running lights, other than the back, which, again, doesn't make sense, but taking apart the switch, the wiring kind of reassures, you know, um, so as confusing as that is, when the motor is running, that's when you get running lights in your cluster and in the, um, headlight. So that is why I have a screw screwed into the yellow contact and going to the positive because that goes to the magneto. So right now I'm simulating from the battery that the motor is running. Okay, so that comes up. Forget about this yellow wire. That's totally separate. That's just grounded to the headlight. All right, we have my little tester here that I've been using. All right, and that's really handy. So it's on ground. So if I touch something that has positive power, it says so. So I've been using that. Anyways, long story short, when the motor is running okay it goes through the yellow wire and it comes up here and it says okay the motor is running boom i have a running light right and then it says okay so now typically these clusters would light up too but i've got burnt bulbs in the running lights sections that's a blue and black or i believe it's black i don't know they're pretty dirty uh, and that goes to both sides. So then once the running light works, it enables me to go to high beam. So you can see low beam, high beam. And you can see my high beam tester is low beam, high beam. So the high beam light comes on in the cluster as well. And that's all with existing wiring. This is simply so that I can sit there and ground everything out the only non-existing wiring is this ground for the the light i don't know if i just i might have missed a plug in there but for now it's grounding out as well which works so that's the one thing that i'm missing but i do somewhere in this box of goodness that I just kind of went through there's one there I do have these where they go I don't know but it's the same it's the same wire it's black with a yellow stripe so I'm wondering if these are supposed to fit somewhere um like alternatively I thought maybe somewhere like in there because I don't know if those are the original lights that came on the bike I have again if we dig into here I have these alternative lights right so you can see this funky shape here now I have a second one and they have um, like a rubber grommet that goes around this white thing here but it's like the same shape, right? So I thought, well, and this needs to ground out anyways. So I thought, oh, maybe, you know what I mean? They go together. But I'm thinking that, I'm just going to turn this off so I'm not killing my battery. Okay, and there. So I, I just have to figure out where these go. Because, like I said, it's the same wire, and there's two of them, and... Uh, there's two places to plug that in. Like that's a double plug. So anyway, other than that, it's completely functional. Like I said, except for this whole motor thing, maybe, maybe the blinker module works fine, but the engine has to be running. It's just not getting enough power. I don't know until we get the engine fixed and back in the bike and we can test it. We won't know, but I think for now, this is really great, and this is a really good step. So, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I will slowly pick away at routing all the cables. 
Um, it's getting colder now. And like I said, my camera fogged up. So I will do my best to video me doing it. Um, but I also may just pick away because like in this case, I didn't video me testing everything because it, it was over the course of a couple days and it's not the kind of thing where I can just do it. You know what I mean? It wasn't like taking stuff off the bike where I'm like, Ooh, I need to take this off. Oh, it's held on here. It was, you know, all right, we're, why isn't this getting power? <laughs> you know, where's this supposed to get power from and blah, 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 blah. So sorry, my finger was in the frame. So, um, yeah, other than that, guys, um, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Probably in the next video I make, um, you know what? I don't know, because depending on when the parts get here, I may attack that or the next video, which because of how dirty my workbench is, I may just start putting the wiring back. Um, we will see. Anyways, thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy your bacon.